this is I've Got Scars, baby. So what is what is this family secret that this family experience that you've you've done, you've had it, you've had? What is yeah. that? Um, yeah, I don't know if we can actually call it a family secret because everyone knew mm. what happened. Everyone in the town really, if you were my grandmother's age, mm -hmm. if you're in your late 70s, 80s, early 90s, they, know, they knew what happened to mm. my grandfather mm. um, in 1953. Um, if my, my dad and his siblings, they knew what happened to their father. Um, and so I found out probably as a teenager, I think I finally asked the question, you know, or at least heard some overheard adults talking mm -hmm. that my grandfather had been killed in 1953 um, by a racist white man in our town. Actually, he lived like three doors down from my family. Mm -hmm. My dad um, and his siblings, they used to play with the man's kids mm -hmm. when they were really small. Um, mm -hmm. So they were neighbors. But he was, he was a, a white man that apparently was, uh, some people described him as just a mean white man, particularly towards black people. Um, and so people knew, but here's the thing, no one ever talked about him. Mm -hmm. So it was so crazy that I questioned if, I, if he even existed. Mm -hmm. I never, I, there was never a picture of him mm -hmm. in the house. I never saw a picture of my grandfather until 2015. So wow. I was 42 before I even knew what he looked like. Wow. Um, I knew nothing about him, about him other than his name. Um, I never saw his grave site until I did the film a year ago. Yeah. Um, so the, the fact that no one talked about it, that was the secret, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, even though everyone knew what happened. Yeah. So it was like this elephant in the room. Yeah. Um, in regards to my grandfather. And I, I, I wanted answers, I needed answers.